Today I'm going to cook a uh, very favorite appetizing, most African popular African, African meal called ugali, which is a maize meal, and we'll show you. All the ingredients you need is two ingredients, water and the maize flour. So you have to boil your water. <coughs> And by the way, guys, Happy New Year. Today is the day. Oh, oh no. double fail! <laughs> yes, the mini accidents. <laughs> That's why you need to support these kind of videos to give me motivation to keep on vlogging. So I had to like the fire from scratch again. You're back. <laughs> Hey, we didn't see it coming. Well, that's the mishaps of cooking and vlogging. Hey, I hope that water will be enough for for our guests. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So you have to wait for the water to boil to take like maybe ten to eight minutes to boil, and then we'll be back shortly. Don't forget juicy comment, spicy comment on the comment section below. Let me know if you eat maize meal in your country i know my black americans african americans brothers they have cornmeal but i don't know if cornmeal is same with maize meal let me know in the comment section below so the water is eight minutes the water is boiling boiling this is the flour we are going to use organic we took it to the portion meal <laughs> So this is what you do. You put little flour by little. And you let it boil again. So that the reason to is so that the ugali should will not be cold. So I usually do a prayer. I pray for the other food and then I start. Uh, I need to add more. This water is mingy. To, you add flour, don't just put all the flour, add small flour as you go until you feel like it's like a cake. And you keep stirring until you have a consistency, a solid consistency. And you should do this on high, high heat, high medium heat. And you stop and then you let it boil again. So you keep on doing stirring and stirring. So you see, you keep on stirring, separating them, no, it gets heated. <laughs> keep on separating, stirring like this twisting turning until you 
your girl we don't like cold to gully if you don't like cold to gully and guys there's a difference between kisi gully giriama gully uh kikuyu gully ukambo gully we are all different ours we like it soft and really really hot soft hard yes that consistency not really soft but not really hard <laughs> so you keep on stirring, make it each side get heated. And you see my ugali is already solid and it's almost mm. when you can do it all don't join So this one is not ready yet, so we are going to check our Oh, water. Behind the scenes. Yes. Hey, hey. They will keep to twenty. Eh? You need to separate it like this. You need to separate it like this. Eh? smart. You need to separate your gali like this. And keep on. If we know you, then you can look at your table. Not a joke, I like me. I bad. Separate it. That's right. Ugali is in uh, is so in Kiswahili we call this ugali. In English it's called maize meal, but correct me if I'm wrong. And in my language, ekegusi kisi, we call it obokima. Let me know what you call it in my language. Let me know what have been your experiences with the food in Kenya. Have you been to other African countries? Why you've had similar food? I love to hear from you. Write a juicy comment on the comment section. Like this. Mm. So when you touch it, it's soft, but it's not sticky. So I leave it for like five minutes for it to to cook. So now it's done. Oh boy. So now Kali is done. It's called Obokuma. Oh. <laughs> And that's how we cook our obokuma. I'll show you what I eat. The stew I eat it with. Today I will accompany my ugali with cabbage meat stew. We normally live together, eat together, and we're just in unity. That's the African way. We eat together at the same time during lunch, dinner. This cabbage. I bought it at the market so watch out for that video that is coming very very soon and this is we're going to eat our gali with cabbage that's our vegetable and meat beef stew if you want me to show you how to make beef stew kenyan beef stew let me know in the comment section down below and yeah i want to serve everyone and yeah Thank you.
Tu vas me pas quoi? Mais la couleur la rose.